Our client alleges that Mr. Walker gave her cash to pay for the abortion and that she went to a clinic in Dallas, Texas. However, while she was at the clinic, she became overwhelmed with emotion. She could not go through with it, and she left the clinic in tears. When Mr. Walker called that night, our client told him what had happened and that she had not gone through with the abortion. He was upset. He pressured her to go back to the clinic with him the next day to go through with the abortion. The following day, Mr. Walker drove her to the clinic and waited in the parking lot for hours until the abortion was completed and she came out. Then he drove her to the pharmacy to pick up medications and supplies as prescribed, and then he drove her home. In the days following the abortion, Mr. Walker began to distance himself from our client. She was very distraught because she felt that Mr. Walker had pressured her into having an abortion. She left Dallas. After she moved out of Dallas, Mr. Walker sent our client a note apologizing for what he had put her through. As you will hear from my client, Jane Doe, she has come forward at this time because she feels that it's important that the truth comes out. My client has many personal pieces of evidence to support her allegations. Mr. Walker professes to be against abortion, even though he paid for and pressured our client to have an abortion. Mr. Walker claims on his webpage that, quote, strong families are the bedrock of our country, end quote. Despite his attempts to clothe himself with Christian family values, he nevertheless had an affair with our client for approximately six years.